this is now it with some 3D printed covers I made for it. But I probably will remake this, but use proper pulleys and a proper belt. The hardest bit for me to make was actually those spaces or the standoffs. Now, the one obvious problem with this is that just having an arm to hold this isn't enough because it would then move away from the arm because it's not in line with the spindle. I did buy one, a kit that was in line with the spindle that was supposed to work with two millimeter end mills and I actually thought it was rubbish. I did get a refund for it, but one of the cogs was held in with a two mil diameter pin Loctited. So I don't think it was actually strong enough for anything except single point engraving. But I need to put some sort of bar here that then clamps somewhere up here or screws in somewhere up there so that it is actually held in place properly. But it's an idea that some people might, you know, want to copy or want to try their own version. But it is pretty easy to make. And timing belts and pulleys aren't that expensive and bearings aren't that expensive and you can fiddle with the idea. But it definitely increases the speed and it definitely works. Thanks for watching.